Tone Tower and M Rack, bringing you the latest hip hop news and discussion that you can be involved in. So stay tuned, we'll be right with you live, guys, live. You're sitting there like, where are these guys? Why aren't they live yet? We'll be right there in a few minutes, guys. Hang in there. Stay tuned in. Keep the broadcast going. Stay tuned. We'll be live at you in a few minutes. This is Daily Hip Hop News Live with Jordan Tower and M. Rack, bringing you the latest hip hop news and discussion that you can be involved in. So stay tuned, we'll be right with you live, guys, live. You're sitting there like, where are these guys? Why aren't they live yet? We'll be right there in a few minutes, guys. Hang in there. Stay tuned in. Keep the broadcast going. Stay tuned. We'll be live at you in a few minutes. This is Daily Hip Hop News Live with Jordan Tower and M. Rack, bringing you the latest hip hop news and discussion that you can be involved in. So stay tuned, we'll be right with you, live guys, live. We gotta be live. Rec, what's good buddy? We live. We here. What's up bro? What's up? What's Salute. up? What's going on, Jay? <laughs> Yo. Yo, am I a prophet, bro? Am I a prophet? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. You definitely a prophet, bro. I got to give it to you. It looks like Woo. Nikki's on her way out. She's looking for a way out right now. Way out, my guy. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Nikki's calling in the radio station. She's doing press now. She's getting ready. <laughs> JT, you put it into the universe. Hey, man, I'm just looking out for Nikki, man. I had to look out for put that good energy out there for her, you know what I mean? <laughs> Got you. I hear that. I'm on Nikki's side, man. Uh-oh. Meek might not like what you're talking about right now. You dig? It's all good, man. Ain't feeling I don't, I don't, I don't like a lot of the things he's talking about, so <laughs> we, can agree oh. to di- we can agree to disagree. Damn, you going in right now. You like, you don't get I ain't going in. You going in. You should have heard Wreck on the phone earlier. Yo, fuck me. <laughs> no, no, just fuck me. Don't you try to throw me under the bus. Nah, I'll no, throw you under the bus, too. <laughs> not, not at all. Not at all. Uh, I, you know, I don't want to give it up like that, but it, it's all good. <laughs> not worse. So uh, tell me uh, what's going on. You, you just actually, you caught something that I didn't catch, okay? So, uh, Nikki... If you guys didn't catch the title performance last night, okay? It's pretty obvious, okay? Uh. Nikki's in New York. Meek's in Philly. He went out to dinner with Jay-Z and Beyonce. Meek signed to Jay-Z for for, uh, management, Management. okay? Mm -hmm. He would have been at that dinner, okay? Distance Mm -hmm. is being created between these two. They're not going to just break up guys like this. Like, boom. She's not that cold-hearted. She ain't going to finish his career off like that. And I respect that. Don't you, Rec? (laughs) That she's not going to do... The, yeah, no, nah, I respect thing. how she's doing it. If that's what's going on. You know what I'm that's saying? That's what's going on, Rick. Come on, let's just call it what it is. She's being classy. <laughs> she's being a classy lady about it. Um, and, uh, you know, we got people in your... Bro, you're not even hip-hop. Uh, CYR. Do your research, bro. <laughs> do your research, bro. I can't how do you, it for How you. your first time in a room, you come in here hating? Oh, no. I know. I can't... We can't do the research for you, and I don't have nothing to prove to you. I just wanted to call you out on that. So anyways, she's being classy about it. Mm-hmm. She's not just breaking it off with them. She's, you know, giving it some time. But, you know, she is distancing herself from Meek at this point, And he's feeling it. He's getting on Instagram with an Instagram finger saying, you know, oh, she says she's with him, but then she's with me. Blah, blah, blah. You saw all that, right? 
Yeah, he's answering Safari's fucking Twitters. It's like, dude, if you're really if you're with Nikki and you're hugged up with her every night, you ain't worried about that, right? Definitely, definitely. Salute to everybody in the room. We can't, yeah, uh, you know, start the show off without saluting, man. Yeah, salute to everybody y'all. in the room. We'll call you us. out. We'll shout you out one by one in a little bit, but we got to get to the news first, okay? We're okay. going to get back to the Nikki drama. Well, let's get to this Shorty Low drama. It just came out that Shorty Low, you know, TMZ's like, oh, they he had painkillers on him and it's just painkillers in the system. And then he only went to the corner with $16 in his pocket, okay? So that means Shorty Low always had $15,000 on him. Trust me, I know. Always had 15000 least, cash. At, at least. At least fifteen dollars cash because he did not have credit cards. Always had fifteen grand on him. So Don't say he spent five point. in the club, which he wouldn't because he's cheap, right? <laughs> <laughs> so say he spent a thousand in the club. He still had fourteen on him, right? Somebody stole the money. I'm not saying the girls did it. The cop it could have been anybody from the girls to the cops to the coroner to the I'm guy. saying I'ma say this. The girls did it. But why would you say I, I don't the girls were just in a crowd. I was thinking about it when I went to the store just now and we talked about it. I was like, why I don't think the girls would have done it because they were just in a, a crash that could have taken their life, you know. So I don't think the first thing they're thinking about yeah, is taking but, but where did he pick up these stocks? They were they, he knew them. They, they they weren't just like new girls that he was. He picked them up from the strip club. Uh, yeah, but he knew them already. But let's let's Think about the mentality of a female at the strip club. Yeah. I they, they, you ever seen chicks, like, say, for instance, right, it might be two chicks dancing. Right, right. And it might be some dudes making it rain. Yeah. Them chicks would, you know, cut each other's throat for that money. Right. So imagine somebody you know got it. Y'all in the car with them. Y'all probably, they don't probably know he's dead yet or whatever or probably think he's just unconscious. They probably like, yo, he ain't gonna miss this money. Right, 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 right. And 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 you know, went in his pockets, took that fifteen to twenty five grand, and was gone. See, I'm gonna tell it like like how did that get to the press? I'm thinking, right, that the coroner, you know, sixteen dollars, the question was was brought up, right? Uh-huh. And I think the cops put that story out there because they were, they said the cops let the girls go through the pockets. Get get out of here. Maybe the coroner took the money. Somebody took the cash, bro. And Somebody then the painkillers. I'll break down Damn. the painkillers for you. Uh, Shorty Lowe had stomach issues, okay? you If you watch any of our episodes, people always commented like, oh, he's popping pills. Those were painkillers because he had actual stomach ulcers. Mm. So before he ate, he had to take these painkillers. So, guys, he wasn't on drug. Now, now, the codeine, hey, it's a th- that's the blame blame future. <laughs> He's got everybody on the codeine. No, I mean all these rappers are talking about codeine. Yeah, you, and... you can't blame future because um, I, I, I was just joking. It goes when back. I said it goes back to DJ Screw. Yeah, 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 yeah. Houston. I was just joking of... when I said future, but it's you a know, big thing in music. The yeah, I know, I know, yeah, I know. Yeah. But it goes back to that. You know what yeah. I mean? Because that's they were sipping on that lean and they was letting it be known. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they made it popular and everybody yeah. was doing it. Almost like like codeine reminds me of how they describe cocaine in the eighties. Remember everybody was doing cocaine and it wasn't frowned upon because it was like a yeah. it's a rich it was a rich person's drug. Codeine is a rich person's drug right now. It's like what how much is it per ounce? I think it's like a couple hundred dollars, right? Something nah. like that. Not really. I heard it was two hundred dollars an ounce. Nah, that shit is cheap. That's no, not for getting real, twisted. for real activists. Like, which nobody has activists anymore. They stopped making it two years ago. That shit is dry. Mm-hmm. Okay, anyone mm-hmm. who says they got activists right now is lying. Yo, block that dude with the pink. Um, because he he's coming on my page. You know. I ain't yep. blocking anybody. You know why? Yeah. Because nah, the trolls are in your I'm not, I'm not with the shit. I know you're not with it. He's coming on my page now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. throughout the day. So, what do you think about this Nicki Minaj thing? Like, do you think she's into young... Like, even going on The Breakfast... Say Nicki Minaj was your girl, right? Uh-huh. And she goes on The Breakfast Club like she did this morning. And she's talking about she's feeling young ma. And, you know, the way she acted with Fetty Wap last night. The way she passionately grabbed his hand, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah, wouldn't she you feel violated? Fetty Wap hand like... Um, 
Fetty, come get this pussy tonight. You know what I'm saying? That's, <laughs> I mean, I'm be honest with you. Like when a girl grab a man's hand and, and and holds on to the two fingers in the middle, yeah, that's a sign. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, really? So you're putting yeah. okay, put us on, lovebird. <laughs> nah, I ain't no lovebird, <laughs> but that's just common <laughs> knowledge. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? That's common knowledge. Like she held on to it. Yeah. And Fetty probably was like, damn. You're doing it too public. Like, that's the vibe he gave. Did Fetty I wink at her? Nah, he was just, he, he was trying to keep a, a plain face. <laughs> you didn't even get it, bro. No, no he got it. No, he was, did, what did I say? Did he wink at her? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he only got one eye. <laughs> if he didn't wink at her, it would have gave it away. You know what I'm saying? If he had two eyes, Yo. then he probably could have winked. So, Rex, Re show me the two-finger grab. I want to see it. She did, she did something like this. You know, she's holding his hand. Yeah. For a while, and then she did like this. Oh, that's how it is. The yeah. Yeah, love bird over there. Love connection wreck. <laughs> Cupid over there. Nah, not even. Like, I'm just calling that's, it for what it is. I, I want to put everybody on. That's Rex move. When he when you're when he's with a girl and he's feeling her, oh. he does that. He does that. Nah, not at all. He calls Not it a two all. finger lead. That's that's your signature move. I heard you <laughs> um trademark that. Yeah, like this. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I do. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's, that's Oh, maybe that's, that's what she was fingers. signaling to him. She was like, You gonna be fingering this pussy later on. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 1738! <laughs> Yo, is Fetty Wap hot in these streets? Say it again? Is Fetty Wap hot in these streets? Fetty Wap, he's lukewarm. Okay. He's lukewarm. He he definitely need a, a hood anthem right now. And he needs a commercial joint. He needs a hood anthem, you yeah. know. And then he needs that commercial joint, the broad, the broad joint that's going to take him over the top. You feel what I'm saying? Yo, there's so many trolls in the room. I just saw somebody said, look what Michael said. Look what he said. Look what he said. I don't even want to repeat it. I don't even want to repeat what he said. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's just disrespect. Like you are. That's disrespect. Yo, yo, yo I'm going to say. You know why I don't block the trolls, Rec? Because they're in here supporting every day. Right. You can't mock the trolls. Now, I don't want you on my page trolling me. But Yo, if you're in the chat room, <laughs> hey. He disrespected. He disrespected. Yo, is that 21 Savage? Because that's something 21 Savage would say. Where's he at right now? There you go. <laughs> we're going to shout you guys out in about 10 minutes. We got to get to all the news first. Now, we're going to get back to the Nicki Minaj Meek Mill <laughs> Love yeah, triangle. That's my man, Hard Luck. He definitely on Fetty Wap ass. Who? Um, Hard Luck is this um rapper from um, um uh, Patterson, Jersey. Oh, he's um, going Fetty at Wap. Fetty Wap. Yeah, yeah. I, I I did the footage last year. Um, Kelly Lock. Fetty Wap was down with his crew. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Boss Mall. Okay. And um, you know, Fetty Wap got on, started. You know, sneak this and hard luck. Uh huh. Then try to act like he was never down with Boss Mob, and then hard luck bought the footage out with Fetty Wap. Was like Boss Mob. You know, he's shouting it oh, out. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He kind of like you know exposed them. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I know the history. Hard luck is my guy. I knew him for like a good five, six joints now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And Fetty Wap first interview was on Forbes DVD too. That's a fact. You can go back. So, you know, I know both okay. those guys, you know? Okay, so... I know Hard Luck more. I know of Fetty Wap, because I wasn't there when he did the interview. You know what I'm saying? Yo, did you catch that movie, um, Surviving Compton, with Michelle or whatever the girl nah, that... I, I just I just saw social media destroying Dr. Dre, like... Oh, they were destroying... Oh, so they were going in on Dr. Dre today. Yo, Dr. Dre got, yo, ether Saturday night. So he was disrespected over the weekend. Yo, disrespected wasn't he? Yo, disrespect ain't even the word. He Damn. was crucified. He yeah. was, yo, on some real shit. Yeah. I know Dr. Dre. 
He's pissed. He's probably feeling like, yo, you know what? I'm not doing press for like two years. Do you think he's going to do a counter lawsuit and sue her right now? Huh? Do you think he's going to sue her right now? Oh, he already said that the week of. Like, he said if this it, comes out, I'm suing, right? Yeah, he's trying to stop that. Him and his lawyer team, yeah. they was trying to stop that whole... What was it? A movie documentary from coming out? No, that was a, it. Was a, it was an actual like straight out of Compton movie? I saw Not half no of versions. it today. Yeah, I saw that, half of it today. How was it? Uh, it's annoying because that girl's voice she keeps narrating it, and it's like, shut up! That <laughs> voice is so annoying. <laughs> you know, it's like, <laughs> damn, get someone else to do the voice. Yo, shout out to everybody in the room. Ah. Yo, so, that yo, voice was annoying. Yo, let, let's do this. Everybody in the room, the homies. Right. Would you fuck Michelle Michelle Lay? I mean, not now. Back then? Yeah. No, but let me see what the people in the room are oh, saying. Okay, okay. What do you guys think? Let's get you guys a part of the chat. Would you guys have messed with Michelle oh. Lay back then? Or now? Either or. I'm getting a no. Yes. Um, oh, somebody, Ace, Ace said he would eat her ass. Oh, oh. oh. Kobe 24, and I'll fuck and, her and, now. And, and the chat is part of the whole video, so d someone said yes. I'll fuck uh, her I'll, voice I'll, right. Someone said I'll do her right now. Whoa, uh, whoa, whoa, never, never. They said never. I wouldn't do her. Her voice? <laughs> See, oh, you guys are going hard right now. They said no, yes. Okay, we're getting more no's than yeses, though. Would they do Michelle, the Dr. Dre girl? Mm. Okay. Okay, we're going to shout what you guys all average. out in about five average. minutes. Don't, get, don't worry, we're going to get to it. Someone said, hell yeah. Fuck a raw 21 Okay, so did right? you see Daz? Did you see Daz going in? Don't worry, they're, they're, their whole thing is a part of the video anyway. So they're getting shouted out. Their answers are getting in part of the video. <laughs> I have it streaming into the video. The chat. Okay. Would you do a wreck? Like you said, Back in then. a heyday? Yeah. Michelle A in a heyday. That rhymes too. Oh. You feel me? Bars. Yeah, <laughs> nah, that was that was no pun intended. You feel me? I think I okay, did you see Daz doing the commentary on the movie? Nah, I Daz I was, know it's out there. I ain't get to see it. There was a part where Suge Knight was like talking down to Tupac, and he uh -huh. was like, "That would have never happened." I, 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 nobody, I wouldn't. He said, "I wouldn't even let Suge talk to me like that." So definitely, Pac wasn't going for it. Uh -huh. Like, okay, so that was one thing. Then he was commenting on how she was just full of ish, you know, the whole movie. Got gotcha. you, got gotcha. you. You know, it's like. She was just looking for 15 minutes, you know? She didn't really, she, for, for, to involve herself in what's going on I right mean, now. I mean, yo, you got to respect it. This whole entertainment business is a hustle. And yeah. you got to find your way in this. You know what I'm saying? She was like, yo, I let Dre tell his story. Yeah. I'm telling mine. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my bread off this. True. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I'm looking at it. She like, yo, I right, it's my turn. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. And I respect her. How many girls you know, you know, now they got reality TV shows for, like, basketball wives and rappers, you know, love yeah. and hip-hop. But, you know, she took a whole nother lane. She wants instead her of, piece of the pie. Yeah, she wants yeah, to tell her part of the show, story. She came out with her own movie. Yo, you know what's crazy, Rec? Okay, so we got the Notorious movie that tells that side of things, right? Uh -huh. Now we're getting the Tupac movie that tells that side of things. And we get the Straight Outta Compton that tells that side of things that leads into all these things, right? And now we get her movie. So there's so many perspectives being told. You know, I want to see a nice Cube movie now. I want to see a Dr. Dre movie. I want to see a Snoop Dogg movie. I mean, that... Oh, yeah. A Snoop Dogg movie is needed right now. Yeah, you need... That's Snoop Dogg, I hope he strikes fast because... Yeah, that's it's the one. He right got now. strike right now while the iron is hot. Yeah, no, Sno this, I, I definitely want to see a Snoop Dogg movie. I mean, he has, think, just think about from the murder trial on. And, and he went through so many roadblocks in his career. Even when he had to leave death row with nothing and go to Master P's lane. P. 
That was ill too. Yeah. And he still did numbers. Snoop went yeah. double platinum with um No Limit. He you did. You know what I'm saying? And, and and Master P taught him a lot of game how to do everything lot on of his game. own. And after Fact. that, I think he was uh what did he do? A deal with penalty after that? Um, which became something. Hey, I did. That thing was TVT. TVT. Yeah, he did the TVT. No, 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 no. He didn't do a TVT. Yes, he did. He did. I put money on that. I put money on that. We can do. I can look How many albums right? did he do? Huh? How many albums did he do? I got. I got put. It. They said they're doing a DPG movie. Someone says that, but that's not official. I don't believe anything until I start seeing actual like footage. You know, like with the Tupac movie, I still wouldn't believe it's real and, until I saw the trailers. And I saw mm-hmm. the behind the scenes Snapchats, and I was like, okay, this is happening. See, look, he signed the East Siders to TVT. Yo, but that Nasty. was the East Siders deal. That wasn't a Snoop Dogg deal. No, that but was... Snoop was still he was on that the project. That was for his homies. He just, he just, he just. No, what him. I'm saying, it was a label deal. It wasn't like it was just the East Siders. Right. Oh Could... yeah, he was taught how to do a label deal through Master P. Yeah. Now you're you right know, about that. And, and he had, I, I think, a um. I think he had his own deal with um, Priority. Yeah, he re-signed with Priority. See, it says right there. Doggy yeah. Style TVT, that was for Eastsiders. Yeah. The he had a few label deals. Yeah, he had Geffen. Is that... Oh, we got Jasmine back in the room. Shout David out to Jasmine. Dynasty. So, Ooh. let's get back to the Nikki, Nikki stuff, okay? So, she's doing her rounds. It's album time. Last album she dropped was what last year? Was it last year or the year before? I, think I don't be keeping up with these. I can't remember. I know it was around Christmas time. Let's just say it was two years ago. Okay, I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure it was two years ago. They'll correct us in the room if we're wrong. I'm pretty sure it was two years ago. She was just breaking up with Safari around that time. Well, right now she's going into album time, and we know that this breakup will be announced around album time. So that's in about two months. Okay, because mm-hmm. she's a hot seller. She's there for the Christmas season. They only drop the hottest artists in the Christmas season. That's Nikki. Yeah, I mean, fourth quarter's for the big dogs. Yeah, That's a fact. Yeah, she's a big, big dog. She's definitely a big dog. Yeah, yeah. She's right up there with Drake. Yeah. Yeah. So, Facts. You know, yeah. So, she's the female so. Drake. Definitely the yeah. female Drake. You know, so you know Nikki's gearing up for album time. That's when she's yeah. going to get rid of Meek. That's what I'm saying. Mm. You know, she doesn't want to get. I mean, now. this is my thing because I never want to come off as a sucker. How are we coming off as a sucker? No, no, no. Listen, listen. What? However, they relationship pans out, whether they stay together or you know go their separate ways. Right. I'm not for divide and conquer. That's not me. I'm not for that. Like I ho- hopefully they stay together. You dig what I'm saying? I'm not a sucker. You did? Because that's what suckers do. Prey on people, you know. I'm not praying on anything. I'm just calling things how I see it. Yeah. I'm not over here wishing bad upon them. Yeah. Nah, but you know what? Any relationship, I pray that it works. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully it works out. I don't. You know what I mean? You say you don't? I don't. So I'll 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 play the the devil's advocate right here. (laughs) Fuck it, bro. I don't care. You know what? Yeah. He's had enough chances, bro. I mean, I'm I, I'm a Meek Mill fan. I, I'm a, I'm disappointed. Yeah, I mean, I'm still bro. a Seriously, fan of I Meek am. music. I mean, it's a lot of. I would say. How many excuses can you make for somebody? I mean, no, all these excuses, times I would. But you know me, I try not to get involved. We're not getting involved. I ain't going. I'm talking. Ain't talking no, to I'm me. I'm talking about a personal shit. Like my thing is more so. Okay, Meek, the artist, I fuck yeah. with. Okay. Now, Meek on a personal, I, I know it's him weird. vaguely. It's spooky. Let's I know be honest, vague. it's spooky, bro. Meek as a person is spooky. <laughs> Artist-wise, lyrics are there. And yeah. I, 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 almost, I, I really feel bad for the guy because he gets so much talent over there. Meek Mill, talented motherfucker, man. You know, so much potential, you know? Mm. And mm-hmm. this is not the time to get involved with emotions. And, and you, you got kids. You see, Rec, you have kids. You can relate to that. I don't even have kids, yeah. right? And your kids come first. Before love, you got to provide for your kids, right? So you're supposed to provide for them ideal, ideally, get them college money set aside, 
you know, maybe some money for when you retire, right? Mm -hmm. When you pass, you want to leave your loved ones with something, correct? Of course. Yeah, so that's what his, he's messing up right now. I want to say the F word, but I ain't going to go that crazy. He's effing up right now, guys, mm -hmm. okay? Now, Nikki, okay, when you hold your girl up, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break it down so I don't sound like a damn hater, okay? The way Meek Mill holds her up, right? Like, she's a prize. Like, I went this and I got Nick. You never heard Nick say, I went this and I got Meek. Mm -hmm. She never holds him in that same regard. So, when that happens and the balance is off in a relationship, it's doomed. I mean, even in my case, always been doomed. Whenever I like the girl more, I'm screwed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as a man, you so, you're supposed to always have the girl chasing you. This is a fact. You're right. That, but that's how Nikki's a boss. <laughs> she always has the guy chasing her. So, so, so basically... Salute to Nikki. Salute to my boss, bitches, wife, and niggas. <laughs> you, on, you, you on your drink shit, right? I now. like that. Yo, <laughs> salute to Nikki. <laughs> salute to Nikki. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's just that Meek has just sabotaged his career back to back. He shouldn't even have responded to game because he wasn't ready for that. You know, so... And then, you know, you're always beefing with your label mate, Wale. Uh, you're beefing with Drake still. That beef was a, over a year ago. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Worry about your own career. Worry about your family. Screw love. Screw this. Your career is in jeopardy. And somebody needs to keep it real with him right now so he can get back on track before the train derails. Because that's the saddest thing. You know, we're sitting, a lot of people sit aside and they love to watch the train derail. I'm not, I'm, I'm giving, I'm giving you reality because maybe he'll see this. Maybe it'll get to him. I don't know. You know, but sometimes people need to hear the truth. Nobody's keeping it real with him. We know that, right? Yeah. I mean, but my thing, this is my thing. I just want him to get to the music. Everything else, that's on him. Like but his that's relationship what someone needs to tell him. No, but listen, his relationship, that's personal. You know, right, um. Right. How he carry himself in, in in public in a public eye, that's personal. Okay, Just but get to the music. That's all I care about. Thinking get about it from Nikki's perspective. But thinking about it from Nikki's perspective, it's best to distance yourself from a train wreck. <laughs> I'm serious. He's a he's a he's a ball of fire right now going down the highway. Someone needs to put it out, you know, rebuild it, refurbish yeah, she, him. She she basically said some all press is good press. You know, there's no such thing as negative press. That's, that's impossible. If I shit my pants tomorrow and that goes out in the press, that's pretty bad press. Now I'm now I'm shits a lot. No, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> think about it. You able to flip that because you know media. Because if you shit your pants and it got you on camera with shitty draws, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They're going to call you, you know... <laughs> <laughs> let's just put it this way, Rex. Hey, let's just put it this way. Let's call it what it is. He's a rebound. He's a rebound. He's a rebound. He's the rebound chick. Okay. He thought he came up with Nikki. He's the rebound. She's gonna. She's got her eyes on something a lot bigger right now. It's painfully obvious. She's not with him. He's not with her in New York, and he's only in Philly, guys. He didn't go out to dinner with Jay-Z and Beyonce last night. Now, last I checked, he didn't have a show last night. So, you know, yes, my job is to watch the Instagrams and everything. So, yeah, he didn't have a show last night, guys. Okay? I mean, you can go do your Googles. He ain't on tour. Oh, man, man. Get what, in what it, Rec. Get on? your heart in this, Rec. Tell him how you feel. Now, what else is going on, man? Tell let, him how, let, maybe let's... you need to get on the love seat and back you. And we can get this conversation. Nah, let, let, let's talk about um Lil Wayne. He said uh, oh, Birdman is not family because his name is not Carter. He's, yeah, when she, this girl, I'm surprised this girl was able to ask this question because Lil Wayne usually doesn't address things he doesn't want to address. And obviously this huh. is a topic that's been beat to death. But she said, you know, what about Birdman? You guys are going to work this out. You guys are friends, right? And he said, I'm too old for friends. I'm 34, right? Oh, wow. Okay, that's a good brush off response from Wayne. But then he said, then he said, she said, well, your family, it's deeper than that. I even downplayed it by calling him a friend. He said, his last name ain't Carter. He ain't family. Oh, and I was shit. like, ooh, 
<laughs> spooky. Spooky over there, cash money. It's getting spooky. Spooky over there. And then what he say? I like. Then he addressed addressed racism. Said he's never experienced racism. He's experienced racism before, guys. I, I, he didn't mean it like that. He just hasn't experienced blatant racism. And he said the person who saved me was a white man, you know? So, like... A white cop. He has a different they relationship walk. with Ooh. white people and cops. He would be right. dead right now if it wasn't for that guy. Uncle Buck, right? That's his name? That's what he says? That's what he goes by, Uncle Buck? I don't know, Uncle Buck. That's what Buck. he said in the interview. Oh, but... something like that. You know? You know what? But, like, when you... Yo, see? In... Look. Look at this guy in the room. The guy with the pink F. I know. Like, he's, he's come on. He's going, he's going too but far. He's, but he's probably black. Nah, he's going too far. Like, like that shit is just out of control. I'm not playing that. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to troll, and that, now you're doing some other shit. Yeah, he needs to chill out, otherwise he's going to get blocked. Yeah, you're doing some other shit, because he, he did it not more than once. I just, I mean, Rick, if you want to ban him, go ahead. You have the power. You're a manager. Yeah. Yo, I'm telling you, do something else. Look, look at him. Look at him. Yo, that's true. So I said tripping. before, like, so go for like, it, bro. You're a, you're a manager. No, but I don't know how to do it. So you you, you know how to do it, bro. You look, 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 look. But he always does that. Nah, not like this. This shit is out of control. He does that on my uh, on my videos all the time. Yeah, I have he's. To... Yo, can, dude, can we focus on yeah. the, the show, bro? Yo, let's focus on the show. Let's, fuck, let's fuck, focus man. on the show. Okay, so let's, shout, let's turn it over to the chat room right now, guys. What's going on, chat? How's everybody doing? Block yeah, out the hate. hate. If you that. see block hate, in the, I, I, I don't know how to block anybody. I don't know how to do all that shit. Yeah, I'm going to block him. He keep playing like on some real shit, homie. You better chill. Shout out to Ace. Shout out to A Deadly West. Shout out to Gregory Washington. Uh, shout out to Poober, Music Zone, DSGB, what up, Deadly Wish, Mazic Zone, DC Raider, Live Life, Lenny Blanco, Dave Brown, Ron mm -hmm. Thomas, I see you out in Vegas, Music Zone, uh, Cali Bucks, uh, Oakwood, Greenleaf, Ace A. Shout to Music. It's getting spooky. Hey. Real one, Mr. Nuff said, Martinez Allison, B Mac, King Tariq, Alimony Canoe, DJ Jay Boom. the Pusha Black, Garris Molden, DJ Boom Tuno, Brooklyn Boss, Dax Millions, Stan Klasa, DJ Boom Tuno, Ace, Gregory Washington, Charlie Lenny Blanco, Live Life. Life, Stax Millions, Live from Smartphone. Melvin Bel Belliard. B Mac. Bell Henderson. Looking for the truth. Trey D, the producer. Zorilla. Looking for the truth. Rec has the same uh same power I do in this room. He's 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 a he's a king too. I, I kinged him. He's a moderator. DC Raider. They said I didn't wait, give you wait Figure out how to block any suckers doing some fuck shit. We're not having that. We got good energy in the Chris room. Chris Hunter, Mr. A Nuff great amount of people in the room right Miss now. Miss Numi Ashbury, B. Moore Brown, Travis Young. Don't let it get it off your game, Rec. Just keep going. Oh, yeah, uh, no Ace doubt. A. No doubt. World Star Rap. Jordan Terra, do you have any freestyles of Shorty Low? Nah, he didn't really freestyle that much. I got three videos, though. Garris Molden. Dave Brown. Salute, Ace, Ace. Dave Brown from that. England. Jasmine. What's up? What's up, Jasmine? Gregory Washington. Uh, really, though, y'all ever prep Philly Mac. dudes? I like Philly, man. Travis Young. Music Zone. Uh, JT, did Shorty Lowe ever tell you why he left Asylum? Uh, Asylum actually dissolved. They let him out. They let a lot of people off Asylum. Even Cameron got off Asylum because it dissolved. Asylum was part of Warner Brothers, if you didn't know. Mm. Shorty low money. You might have to watch the playback, but basically somebody took some money between the crash scene and the coroner's office. We can't say who. 
uh, JT talk about Atlanta rappers? Well, that's hard because there's so many Atlanta rappers. I mean, who am I feeling right now? Jay I'm, the Pusher Black. Salute. I'll get to that in Be a second. Matt. Nikki left me. Rico that's a Harris. fact. It's it's getting to a fact, Rico. It's not a hundred percent yet, but all the signs are going savage. there. I mean, you every day it gets more and more and more. Me. You don't go too crazy. I fuck with you, so you don't get blocked. Who? No, Twenty One Savage. He keep oh, yeah, he, he, like blocking. He, he, he block. just. Like, I don't know why he wants to get blocked every time. I think he wants to be. <laughs> I think he wants to go home and tell people. Yeah, I got. Yo. Emrek, JT, and Wendy. Do need to do some shit. She has her own channel called This Is Wendy Day. So go subscribe. Miss Noomi, too many rappers from Atlanta. Nah, I, I don't listen there are to a lot. the homie. I just never heard nothing. What's his name? Fredo. 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 Santana? Fredo. Fredo Santana or something. Yeah, Fredo. J Money. Someone said J Money. I haven't heard from J Money or Young LA in a while. Oh, that's been a minute. Jordy, Shorty Low wasn't signed at 50. It was, a, it was a label deal for D4L. Uh, shout out to the 508. Uh, Jasmine's out, pop. Too. Jasmine, you're popular in here. Shout out to Jasmine. She's popular in here. JT Splash Town watching. What's up? Uh, Lamar Allen, 21 Savage, still on that bull. Yeah, always. 21 Savage. He's a character in the room. Rich Kids Breakup. Oh, yeah. Wasn't that that guy Schooly and the other guy? D4 dropping a new music. I think they always Yo, do. Also, um, Emilio Sparks from State Property. Yeah. He said he want to tell his side to the whole State Property, Beanie, Beanie Siegel, you know, okay. fiasco. You know what I'm saying? Drama, beef, whatever you want to call it. He put that out on Instagram. So when are you gonna? When are we gonna get the interview? You're the one that's friends I, with him. Well, people started at replying me and Nori in his page. It was like. We need M. Rec and, and well, no let's do it live, okay? I'm gonna so go. I'm gonna room. sit down for this one, guys. No, that's what they said. They said, "Yo, we need M. Rec and, and, and Noriega." <coughs> I don't know why they say Nori to interview him because the Breakfast Club is not, you know. I guess they're not gonna ask him the official street questions. Right. Or, well, let me. You know, I'm gonna add a skino right now. I did. I did that. Well, I was like, I can. We'll, we'll, do, we'll, we'll both do it. You know what I'm saying? It's add all good. Skino. What's his What's his thing on on Twitter? At the real Emilio Sparks, something like that. Why does it say Emilio Sparks? That's his At name. Not, I'm, I'm not talking about Oskino. I'm talking about Emilio. Oh, I don't you know him. You out the loop, homie. You gotta get a. Uh, I stay out the loop. <laughs> you gotta get a um uh, Santa Fe Emilio. Sparks, I don't hear. I, I forget what part of the crew he was in. I'll do that later because I can't even find his damn name. Yeah, man. I remember Emilio so, Sparks. Oh, um, what else is going on? Oh, let's talk about some basketball. Kevin Durant. Basketball. You know he's on the Golden State Warriors right now, right? Okay. Okay. He's from OKC. You familiar, right? You in the loop? Yes. You out the loop. But anyhow, anyhow, I got this. Just follow me. I'm following. He's on the Warriors. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You got. Oh, I know that, yeah. You got Clay Thomas. You got Stephon Curry. Okay. You got um, Kevin Durant. Those, You know, of course, they got other players. He's already shooting threes, no-look threes, and, and swishing them. So you know... <laughs> It's going to be a problem this year. So it's they're going to be a problem. So you think they're going to win again? Huh? You think they're going to win again? K oh, KD's getting a ring this year. That's a fact. Damn, they're on fire, bro, over there. The Golden State? Golden State. Look, they almost got a ring last year, but Le LeBron was just hungry. You dig? <laughs> so, you know. Okay, well, that was great for the basketball talk. Look, it went up. What? Yeah, we 78. You know what I'm saying? That b-ball talk is that shit. I'm they ain't you. going up because of the b-ball talk, bro. That's not in the title, nothing. Huh? They don't, they're not coming in for the b-ball talk. Well, we, this is what we doing. But I'm just letting you know, look, look, that ain't this making shit look, go up. Look, y'all, this is what he did. 
Yeah, and then and then Wait. then Nikki grabbed the rebound and the ball was meek. <laughs> KD, <laughs> and it was an all Swiss tray. You know what I'm saying? Oh gosh, KD's a beast. What happened to Shorty Low Jewelry? I don't know. I haven't heard about that. If them chicks probably took Shorty Low Jewelry and all. You think she took about the? I don't think they. No, no, no. He had the jewelry when he was buried in the casket. Oh, no, he had mad jewelry. Yeah, so... yeah. He had his jewelry. That was his jewelry. His watch, that yeah. chain. He, he, he didn't go Look, too crazy with the jewelry. That b-boy talk got it shaking. <laughs> Listen. Hold on. What team you're repping for right now? What team you're repping? Put your team, your favorite teams up right now. Your favorite basketball team. Let me know what y'all thinking out there. How you're feeling about, you know. How did this kid get in? New York Knicks, okay. How y'all feeling? Y'all thinking LeBron is going to get a, another ring or KD is going to get his first ring? How y'all feeling out there? Let's, let's French, go for it. I, I, this guy, French Montana, man, how did he get in here? I'm on his page right now. I don't okay, get it. Okay, look. Orlando He Warrior, needs to chill out. French, you need to chill. GSW. Okay. Magic. <laughs> Brooklyn boss is be in trolling me on some like like I ain't repping Brooklyn. He'd be like, yo, my favorite team is the Atlanta Hawks. <laughs> that was a funny shit. <laughs> Salute, homie. I ain't gonna front. You always give me a good laugh. You troll in a real entertaining way where it's not disrespectful. Right. And that's what I respect because I like to laugh. But you got to do it in a respectful, entertaining way. Not no sucker. You be a sucker because I'm going to catch up with you too. Just think, when I catch up with you and I whip your ass, it ain't going to be funny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just Let's let's keep it all, you know, entertaining in Late here. Let's merit. not cross the lines. I'm trying to read the chat room. You know, JT, you grinded, man. I'm trying, it, bro. It, it'll get spooky for one of these dudes in here that keep disrespecting. Trust me, man. J JT, Find IP address. Whoo! That's all I'm this gonna guy, say. French Montana, the chat, I'm gonna just say this. French Montana, the chat room. I don't know. You, you, you're tripping, and you're gonna get blocked. So you just gotta chill out. All right. You're going too far. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, I caught up with a few dudes that was trolling, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> I don't, you know? I don't mind trolling, but I do mind disrespect. Yeah, it's, it's cool. That's all. But it's all good. Why did Shorty Low not release much music the latest years? He didn't have the right management. That's why. That's a whole nother. We were about, about to get that fixed, honestly. We're about to fix all that. It's all okay. But, you know, the money's gone. It's not going to bring Shorty Low back. Uh... You know, it's it's just sad. You know, why would say, why would you go into a dead man's pockets? I don't know who did it. I mean, people, you gotta think. People are fucked up. You, we we in an era. How you gonna say that? You got people taking selfies with a dead shorty low. You're right. You're right. Up. You're right. You're absolutely. You know what, Rick? You're absolutely right. Yo, that's fucked up. Look, shorty low laying in the casket, and they like this. Look, yeah. where my phone at? Look. Like, come oh, on, yeah, yeah. It's like, what's going shit. on? What, Yo, what's going on in your mind when that happens? Yo, that's the type of shit I wish Shorty Low would have woke up from the dead and slapped the shit out of <laughs> everybody <laughs> who took the exactly. selfie and put their fucking phone exactly. in a million pieces. Yeah. That's the type of shit. Now, it was, what's gonna happen? it was great that it was great he was getting so much love. The fans were coming. I mean, that shows he's a real legend, you know? He's a bankhead legend. Okay, people. Oh yeah, and I also want to address one other thing, Rick. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm listening. These people that were giving me shit for releasing the last Ti thing, the last Alpha, Alpha Mega thing, I waited till way after the funeral. But Shorty Low wanted that stuff out. He recorded that three days before he died. Okay, just because Ti gave it up after he's dead doesn't stop that from coming out. That's how Shorty Low felt. It matters what you do for somebody when they're alive. Not when they're dead. So when Shorty and goes I've been dead, saying that for yeah, since Rec, the beginning of time. Yeah, Rec always says that. And and when 
Just because T.I. gave it up, okay, doesn't mean anything to me because it's like, mm-hmm. well, you didn't do that when he was alive, okay? So you're just doing it to make yourself look good right now. Salute to T.I. for doing it. I appreciate it. But it ain't going to stop salute. what Shorty Lowe felt, okay? It, it, you guys didn't have – the beef was over, but Shorty Lowe still had his uh, – he still felt a way about everything. So mm-hmm. – he wanted it out. I see, ain't gonna disrespect see, you, him. You, you got to go into why the beef even started because a lot of people don't even know Shorty Lowe gave T.I. some vehicles for his video. Right. See, you, right. you know about that. Yeah. Before so, he even knew who T.I. really was, he yeah. still, and then when he found out, like, oh, word, that's T.I., all right, let him rock it. Let him rock out with my cars. Yeah, and like, you know, but you know what's great? But like, the way the way Shorty Lowe broke it down when he goes into T.I., he gives it up. He says, yo, he makes great music. I was, I'm was, i a T.I. fan. Mm-hmm. He's just not from that side of town. That's it. That was the only problem he had. So calling him a hater? Because he's telling the truth? I mean, whoa, this is black, Rick. This is a black tissue. But you might say it's white. Am I a hater? Because I'm telling the truth. It is black. You yeah. might have color, but you might be colorblind. I mean, we just in a a weird era. This yeah. era is weird. It is. Like, You're right. very weird. Everybody has a voice. You know? That's what makes Seattle, it. Seattle, nice. salute. Tim Dillon. Yeah. You know, salute. Now, I'm, I'm a T.I. fan, too. I want to put that out there. I'm a T.I. Yeah. fan. I love T.I.'s music. T.I. is a dope... Dope lyricist. He's but one of the I was friends with Shorty Low. I was friends with Shorty Low. I'm gonna let him Shorty speak his Lowe. mind. Salute. Yeah. Salute to Shorty Lowe. I'm gonna let him speak his mind. Uh, if he be- wants that out there, I just wasn't gonna release that during every all the memorial. So I waited on that because out of respect for everybody yeah. giving their tribute. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I waited two, three weeks. I waited almost a month, if you really want to be honest. You know, I waited a month. Hold on, this guy with the pink F, the only way I'm going to salute you, if you apologize. <laughs> and you got to apologize 10 times in a row. That's yeah. the only way you're getting saluted. Then you, you get, get saluted, because then we can forgive. We do forgive on the show. And you got to send a Patreon in. I appreciate it, Brandon. I see you. Uh, Trill Sammy got his chain back. Oh, yeah, someone said that. Yes, he did. Did Nikki officially so, so dump me? It's getting back. there, okay? We're close, Tim. I'm not... It's what, It's probably what's best for her. He said, apologize. He even used your words. You got to do it 10 times, though. You got to apologize yeah, 10 yeah, times. Yeah, you got to apologize 10 times. because you. We appreciate the support. 10. Don't get it wrong. Just the trolling, there's a thin line. You can only go between a certain... I, I accept the apology, but you got to do it 10 times and send a Patreon. That's how I know it's real. He ain't going to send a Patreon, bro. R.I.P. Yeah, Shorty Low Emrec, yeah. hilarious, bro. Yo, Emrec and I's chemistry, we just tell our sides of things. And they clash, but we're still friends. That's yeah. what real friends do. Yeah. Don't address well, me as guy with the pink. Well, we don't want to... <laughs> he wants his name. But you have somebody else's name as your name. <laughs> Yeah, and I know French Montana. He know French Montana, the real French Montana. <laughs> so I don't want French to just, you know, listen. You can't in. disrespect French Montana in the room because the first thing we he know. disrespect it, and we talking about some troll in the room. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh so. man, let's address. Let's get to the room, guys. Speak your mind. What do you want? You what do you guys want to address in the room? Talk to me, guys. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm 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 ready. I'm listening. I'm letting the room be streamed on the cast so you guys can be known and seen. Yo, I, this is what I need from y'all, right? What's up? What's the hot movies and the hot TV Oh, series? yeah. What is the that hot? That I need to be watching. What, need to, what I do need we to know need to too. be watching? Put us in the loop, guys. Put yeah, us, put in, us the in the loop. Oh, Music Zone. I got CC jokes. CC got jokes coming back soon. But oh, yeah. Put that's us the guy the you always tell me about. What's the hot movies out right now? Uh, Born to be Kings is that a, is that a movie or is that the Shorty Low track with with uh, with uh, I, I Boosie? Don't know what Born to be Kings is I never back down for Luke Cage. Yeah, we on that Luke Cage. Yeah, Luke Super. Cage. Uh, I've caught a little bit of it. Yeah, we on that. You no, know, I, I put you on to that. You know, what I mean, give me my props. Were you getting the uh, gosh, Birth of a Nation? I gotta I gotta see what's happening with that. I'm hearing a lot of 
Oh, know, I want to see Birth of a Nation. I'm hearing a I lot of I want to see Jack Reacher, but I'm talking about anything I can watch online. If y'all fuck with, you know, one, two, three movies, shh, quiet as kept. You know, that's a nice little loop right there. You see every movie that's in the movies, TV shows. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know about that one, two, three movie loops? If I, if you don't, salute, because I just yeah. put you on. Oh, someone just said I should release Shorty Lowe's music files. I am. Just this week and the next couple weeks. I did, I couldn't get, to, I was getting to the other stuff in the past couple weeks. Um, let's see. What's your thoughts on that? Give me more movies. Give me some series, guys. What's hot right now? Give me some secrets. Yeah, I, some secrets to Netflix and Hulu. Yeah, I need some movies because I'm a movie head. Me like, too. for real, I fuck. Cloverfield is dope. I don't know. I think I tried. Uh, I saw Cloverfield. I, I wasn't feeling it. Yo, you know what's dope? I watch. What? The Dark Stranger. Okay. That's kind of dope. That's about this, uh, this chick. She's a writer. Jack Reacher's coming back out, right? I can't wait for that. Yeah. Narcos Doctor is dope. Strange. Okay, yeah, yeah. Narcos is definitely dope. Doctor Strange, I haven't heard of that. Have you heard of that? Yeah, yeah, that's um, Doc Strange, I think it is. Oh, okay, it's good? That's a Marvel joint. Oh, really? Yeah. Lloyd um, Banks' new mixtape. <laughs> new Gucci Ooh. Man. New Gucci Man is okay. What happened to Joel Smokathon? Actually, oh, it was yeah. Spec Light JTF Web Series. Smokathon. Um, that's but... dope. I got to get into that. I only watched like two episodes. Referring to the Smokathon, we're going to have B-Real and Burner on here. Maybe we can spark that conversation back up. Okay. Um, What else? What else? What else is popping? Um, I seen... Oh, this joint called The Watcher. Yeah. That, that's a good movie. Go watch that. It got I'm nice watch little twists at the end. Oh, yeah. But that's like a Marvel type of clip. Nah, nah, but it's not that. Kind that. Of... This is something different. You know, the watcher as like a bird. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I... a like the raven. You know what I mean? It's a big I ass think... raven. I think Wiz the... Khalifa would have won the um, Smokeathon. What do you think? Say it again. I think Wiz Khalifa would have won the Smokeathon. <sighs> nah, Snoop was gonna win that. No, he... Snoop even said that Wiz Khalifa's lungs are way. Crazy. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. then Wiz Khalifa would have won. If Snoop gives it up, what to about Red Man and Method Man? I don't know. Mm. That would be good. I don't know if they smoke like that anymore. Mm. Yuck Mouth would have gave them a run for their money too. Mm. Got you. Got Jordan you. I do not hate Meek Mill. It's just that I'm a little disappointed as a fan. That's all. Got you. No, no, I'm just reading the chat. Man. Y'all gotta get on your movie shit, man, because I need mad movies to watch. Yeah, man. what's up like, with the movies? Oh, Blue Hill Avenue, classic. Limitless? I think I might have seen that. Okay, you're on your shit now. I'm about to check for a lot of shit. Limitless? You've never seen that movie? That's the um, one where you take the pill? Yeah. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, that yeah, was, yeah, yeah. That was a good-ass movie. That was a good-ass movie. That's real dope. Salute. Yeah. yeah, salute that. John Wick, I'm waiting for that. John that's Wick, that's going to be Yeah, that's going to be good. That's going to be good. That's going to be five Juice, cut yeah. classic. Oh, The Conjuring 1 and 2? Yeah, I like that spooky shit. Uh. Now, that's spooky. Tim Dallin Smoke keeps asking it. about the Smokeathon. The Smokeathon didn't happen. It got hated on. That's what happened. Who's the rapper that hated on it? <laughs> uh, Snoop Dogg actually ended up dissing me and teaming up with Joel Santana, and then the whole thing fell apart. That's what happened. I don't lie. I tell the truth. Oh, hey. I'll put the hey. footage out. Your man A was hating to her. Nah, but, you know, it's all good. Hey. Maybe we can make it happen with Be Real and all them. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, who gonna outsmoke B Real? I seen B Real. He, he was smoking in. somebody and somebody almost died in the car. I'm trying to think who was it? It was one of your um wh which rapper B Real was smoking with somebody and, and they, they said they couldn't handle it, right? They're like <laughs> They was choking for like Shout out minutes. to B Real smoke box. That shit is hard. Mm -hmm. Yo, B real, I forgot who it was. I wouldn't. I don't think I would dare get in the smoke box with B real. I don't yo, even smoke like that. Like, yo, ain't nobody smoke. fucking I don't with smoke B real. Weed. So, I, I, but I would real. smoke weed with B real, but not in the smoke box. Yo. <laughs> yes, Snoop Dogg. Who was it? That shit was funny as shit. Y'all gotta know, man. Y'all watch B real and all that, right? It, what what is it? The smoke box? Yeah, yeah. On YouTube, on YouTube. Yo, it was somebody who smoked with Be Real, and I swear they choked for like ten to fifteen minutes. Who the fuck was that? That uh, shit was a shit. 
<laughs> oh man. Noria um, has smoke a lot, but yeah, he ain't gonna be in no smoke a thon though. Uh, why is Birdman broke? Because he spends all his money. Mm. I don't think he's broke though. His broke and our broke is very different. Yeah. His broke is down to a few million. Our broke is like down to a few hundred. <laughs> right? Facts. Underworld word. They got a new one. Shouts to Fireball. Zorilla. Them, them underworlds be fire. Big B-roll, don't smoke. I I would drink with B-roll, but don't smoke. I will get this. I will get in the smoke box. Eric Sim says. Uh, Birdman is broke for real. I don't think he's broke for mm. real. Why did Snoop diss me? Because he was. He was enticed by somebody to diss me. He mm. didn't diss me himself. I met him just a few days before he said that, and we had some like agreement to do something. So it's not. I didn't take offense to it. I actually laughed about it, and I actually had footage with Snoop Dogg co-signing my smokeathon. And not Dane Dash. Not it, it was somebody else. It probably was Dane, but it was somebody else. What? With Beat Real and the smoke box, and and, and they, they almost died. Bobby's world. Will That's Drake and Nikki funny. ever work again? Yes. Definitely. Um, it, it's business at the end of the day. Yeah. And Nicki Minaj, she's not going to let nobody... Exactly. Uh, That's another reason that relationship's going to end. Meek is making it hard for her to move with relationships. Cheryl Mitchell, what's up? What's up, homie? Hello. Free Young Buck. Yeah, Free Young Buck. Free Young Buck. Are they buck. really breaking up? Probably. Probably. Yeah, Luke Cage is dope. We said that a few times, but salute. It was New York, dude. What's good? Port City. XV Beats. Mike salute. Kemp. Black Troll. Are they breaking up? They're on the way to it. Meek is real emotional, as you can see. That's what someone said in the chat room. What's my favorite Eminem song? Wow. Actually, that Slim Shady um album. That was my album. The that first one, album. right? Fuck that. The second album. I had the first album. The, what it was the, the Marshall Mattis LP. That's what. It's that was called. the first one. Nah. What was the first one called? Yeah, I had a car with by a dock and a moon. First one was Slim Shady. The second one was the Marshall Mattis LP. I think it was, and that shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. Nah, I think the first one was Marshall Mattis. Nah, the first one was Slim Shady. See. Oh, okay, they're saying it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. First one was Slim Shady. The second one was Marshall Mattis. Okay. M uh, Marshall Mattis. Let's see. JT did that Yo Gotti White World video. That was a fun ass video to make too. Yeah, when Eminem and Royce was doing the um Bad Meets Evil, I was there actually for the deal. I was there when Eminem signed. Signed that's, what? That's to um game records, him and Royce the five nine. You were around game records around that time too? Yeah, I was. Me I, I too. Did, they put a record out with me. Um They did? I was featured on record. Um, you know what's funny? On. I edited my first music video in that office. Oh wow. Over there, I'm gonna tell you exactly where it's at. West Broadway and like um, It was spooky over there. Yeah, it is it, definitely And they had that neon nighttime. sign in the window game. Mm-hmm. And, and they had, that's where Dan the Man came from, the, the music video director. Oh wow, that's crazy. But Stretch Armstrong used to be in that office all the time. Mm -hmm. Um, um, Adolf, what, Dan, which is no, uh, what's, the, other, what's the main guy's name that was there? The, his main office. What was his name? What? Um, John Schechter. John Schechter. Yeah. Yeah, that was his office. And he you did know. Game Girls. Yeah, he was one of the um. Founders of the source. And he actually gave me footage from Game Girls to put in the nonfiction video. Yeah, he he, he was on that girl loop early. Oh, yeah. Early he was on that girl loop. Like, he was the first one to put Remember sexy... Burkina's, bro? Yeah, Burkina, of course. Burkina? Yeah. Burkina on Houston and yeah. first. No, no, Does that no. still when... exist? Houston and I'm trying to think. What's the, um, I think that's, um, Delancey. It was I don't by know. that, it was by that, that. 24 hour halal place. Yeah. But he's on first and first now. He is? Oh, yeah. He's so still, he's around, still going. Man. Remember Bum yeah. Fights, bro? Classic. Did you ever go to Skate Key? 
Yes, sir. That's how I met my um my ex wife. For you real? Know? Yeah, she she Did she you used skate to skate up to her. You were like, "Yo, what's up? I'm on wreck and I got boss." Nah, I wasn't really skating too hard, but uh, <laughs> you know, it was just more so like you know, because it's a little lounge area. You ain't gotta be skating. It was like okay. a lounge area where you sit, you can get you know, like drinks, soft drinks, stuff like that. Yeah, I think she was over there, whatever, whatever. But um, you know, it is. Man, New York was fun back then. Oh hell yeah, man! See, I grew remember up the twenty four hour arcade in Times Square. Facts. Oh, I went there in the nineties all the time as a kid. All the Facts. time. Facts. That was Ghostface used to always ever, be in like, there. Huh? Ghostface used to be in there all the time. Oh wow! And uh, my my old neighbor Tracy Morgan used to always be in there. Okay, nice. Tracy Morgan when he was on Saturday Night Live. I, I was an okay head. Like me, I was a game fanatic. Like, you know, back in the day. Barcode. That's what someone even shouted out. Barcode. That's what it yeah, was Yeah, shouts to Barcode, man. Yeah. You know, when games cost a quarter and 50 cent. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's when. That shit was hard. Yo, now I ain't got the time for no fucking games. Like, before I was a game fanatic. The last game I might have played was fucking Resident Evil 2. Like, yeah. I'm out low. And that shit was classic. You know what I mean? PlayStation 2. Like, but once I got involved with music, I was like, it's either going to be music or the game. Because the music is time consuming yeah. and the fucking games is take over your life. I seen dudes lose everything. They marriage, they house, they kids. <laughs> dudes lose, lose everything. Dudes be on the street playing a fucking game console. You dig what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and they draws. You know what I'm saying? I seen dudes they yeah. wash up for like two weeks. Playing a fucking game with shitty drawers on. I, I remember hanging out in Times Square back then. All the time. You hung out? Yeah. Nah, a word you gotta join me, Smith and West. I heard she fucked with Tech Hard. Now I ain't hear it yet. But I heard she fucked with Tech Hard. Did you hang out with uh did you hang out in Times Square back then? Hell yeah. Yo. See the if thing with Times Square too, it was it was dudes coming from I mean all over, but Brooklyn was going to Times Square, taking dudes' hats, jackets. Oh, yeah, jeans, yeah, yeah. You know, and then that's where you flicked it up at. That's where you took your pictures at. That's where oh, you yeah, posted yeah. up. They had team. the naked cowboy back then. He was like a staple. Who? Uh, the name? Remember the naked cowboy? The naked cowboy? He was in a diaper, and he'd play the fucking guitar all the time. Remember that? The, the, the white dude, the crazy white guy? It's Put it on me right there. That's spooky. Bro, he was on MTV all the time. Everybody remembers the Naked Cowboy. Spooky! Naked Cowboy. That's something I never want to see, remember? <laughs> right now. You're flipping yeah. on me right now. No, you're you flipping it on me. Yo, you're, yo, you're, you're getting... You're, you're turning Brokeback Mountain on me right now. <laughs> yo! He said the Naked Cowboy. He like, was on TRL, see? It was always on TRL. That was spooky, man. Yo, look up the naked cowboy. Damn, you still <laughs> running with this naked cowboy. Yo, man. remember? They still have it, but the Virgin Megastore, I used to hang out in there. Oh, also. yeah, I remember the Virgin Megastore. That's still there. Oh, they're still there? Pretty sure, last time I seen it. That's big. Virgin? They had that They had that weird strip club that opened like right around that time around there in Times Square. It's still mm. open. I mean, Times Square used to be... The, Junkie Central. The, 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 what they call that? The haven for that. The West Haven for that or whatever. Yeah, for all the, for, the hookers and everything. Yeah, then, it moved the to eighth, then it moved to 8th you Avenue. Had the, you had the, uh, what you call that? The peep shows? Yeah, but that all moved to 8th. They pushed it over to 8th Avenue. Uh-huh. And now it's not even on 8th Avenue. I don't know where it is now. That's just out of here. Yeah, they you said, yo, there's too much money over here. Yo, um, Gi- Giuliani fucked that up. Like, Giuliani, he definitely fucked with them trannies because, you know, that was what New Yo, York City was known that's for. Where Premier, that's where D&D used to be, on 8th. Remember that? Yes, sir. <laughs> what, like 39th and 8th or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, right near I mean, all, like, the, the crackhead right. hotels. Yeah, I seen, um, I used to go to D&D. I, I Yo, seen, wasn't uh, Premier a junkie at one point? Um, he talks about that. Man. That's my man. I can't get into it. No, nah, you know but he saying? talks about it. No. Nah, one thing, me. One thing no, about but, Premier. No, no, no. But trust me, that's something that is touchy. So I'm going to leave that alone because me, well, Premier. I'm going to tell you one thing about real... Premier that he's very open with. 
porn. Yeah, yeah, but he me and him had a one on one, and he was like, he got his son. You know what I mean? He got a son that's watching the internet now. Oh so yeah, 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 yeah. He's real, yeah. real careful oh, so about. He doesn't even things. talk about the porn thing. Huh? He doesn't even talk about porn now. Yeah, he's a little, you know. He's um, more careful. Yeah, very. Well, very salute to yeah. Premier. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's a great dude. That's my guy, DJ yeah. Premier. He's a legend. You know, he, he spends my records. Uh, he, he did a lot for me. He called my DVD a classic. The outside. Oh, for real? Seven. Yeah, like publicly. He like, loved to watch DVDs. I know that. Yeah, that was my guy. Shouts to um DJ Premier, um RP Guru. They took me on tour, like. You know, really? Yeah, yeah. Nah, you know, I was a, I was a baby yeah. in this, man. I'm still I'm still young. You know, what you I'm saying? have a premiere track. Um, you know what's crazy? Premiere asked for my email a few months ago, so I guess you know it'll be it'll pop in my um email mysteriously. You know what I'm saying? He was like, "Yo, what's your email?" Like that. I knew he had it, but I guess he wanted to make sure when he make a Pacific, cause he love all in. All in is his shit. Oh, really? Oh, I, I I pull up a video where he backspinning that shit for like five minutes, like on what on shade? Um, yeah, on um Sirius Satellite, you know his show. Um, what is it called? Um, headquarters, headquarters. Someone said Meek Mill stole his hood flow. That's funny. Yes, we always read the chat. We just can't. If we're addressing the chat the whole time, it's not gonna be a good show. Yeah, we, but yo, man, we you know we we having a great time. Still a lot of people in the room. You know, but I don't want to, you know. Let's not overdo it. Exactly. We did over an hour, guys. We got to get back to our normal uploading. Yeah, I got to upload shit to Forbes DVD. I got to upload shit to MREC TV. He got to upload shit to Jordan mm -hmm. Tower. Mm -hmm. You know, YouTube. Yep. You know, and well, um, if you guys missed anything, this will be available available for replay within the hour. I'll put it in the playlist yeah. right now. Okay, and it'll be on Rex channel too, MREC TV. Make yes, sure you sir. go subscribe. And make sure you hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. Yeah. So that's you very get our important. alerts. Right? It says it right there, guys. You see it on the video. Right here. It says, see that little bell? Click that yeah. bell. Make sure you click hit the bell. Hit that bell, bell y'all, because that's you're not gonna get the alerts if you don't hit that bell right next to the subscribe button. Yeah. It's in between it's in between the subscribe and mm -hmm. the number of Subscribers. Someone said R.I.P. to the clown that was in my backyard. Let's salute some people in the room before we get off. All right. Break Harp. Go ahead. Terry G. Salute. DJ Black Sponge. Salute. Garris Molden. Salute. Kelvin Moore. Kelvin Moore said this wasn't hot enough to watch it again. <laughs> Zorilla. Um, B. Mac. Word. Wordplay word King. Andrew Jamie. Andrew Jamie. That boy Young. Third Coast Pretty Born Duhan. G. Andrew Mike Jamie. Kemp, Ken Blood. DJ Black Sponge. Fernando Eric Sims, Cabrera. Boss. Jason Allen. Merrick Sims. Ain't no make shit over here, my guy. Break Carp. Myron Ford. Houston, Texas. Ill Mixtape. Savage. Um, Ill Mixtape. Davis Dynasty. Myron Ford. Fernando Guerrero. Gerald Michelle. Garris Molden. Kinblood. Firebug Star. Bubbles will be back so, later this week. Capo Stan. Fernando. Fernando Cabrera. <laughs> Stan Colasa. Stan G. David Cummings. Yo, shouts to everybody, man. Looking for the truth, trying, man. man. Hey, salute. Hey, hey, yeah. Hey, say. Hey, I appreciate you. I, I, need I, the producer. Hey, say, I appreciate you, man. Thanks, man. Third Coast. Third Coast. Uh, Zorilla. King Turek <laughs> says, fuck Bubbles. He hates King that Turek, bubble what up? Capo Stan. Tommy Guns. Salute. Peace. Make sure you hit, make sure you hit the Patreon. Want all shorty low footage, JT. Well, it'll come out. Alright, so I'm gone. Julie. You already know it's love. Appreciate y'all. David Cummings, everybody. Julie. What's my what up with the homie Julio? I ain't seen him in the room. Oh yeah, where is he? Julio R. Um yeah, Julio R. Salute to him. Freaky. <sighs> you know. Salute to uh Therese J. Therese and J. I forget his uh, I must be pronouncing wrong, but he's the top Patreon. 
Salute, MREC TV, LOD, Low Shout Key out. 100. You know what I like? Some people come James in here Price. and they eat their dinner and watch us. That's pretty dope. Nah, that's what's up, man. That's entertainment. That's when you know you're entertaining folks. See, me, I can't even watch a movie without eating something. Me too. Like, I, I, I'm weird like that. No, I want I, I want my weird. food ready and then I get the thing right. I you know what's crazy? I fucking rewind the movie because I'm looking down eating. But, you know, it's, it's like an oxymoron because you got to watch a movie. You got to pay attention. I do the same thing. Yeah. It's like, yo, I get my favorite meal and then I put on my favorite movie or, or movie I think is ill. Yeah. And, you know, I lock in. Just get, I, I, get relaxed, my phone, right? My phone is on silent. Like, if I'm watching a dope movie, I feel sorry if you're trying to call me. Gerald Mitchell I, said, sorry. I'm sending a Starbucks card. I'm going to tell you one thing. Just donate to that Patreon and I'll get a Starbucks card. How about that? B Max, salute, man. We're gonna keep it coming, man. The last big big night documentary coming, man. You know, y'all y'all gotta support that, man. You know, it's um <coughs> funky. Go support that. And Rick, don't dream about Puff too much. <laughs> nah. Never. I don't even think about Puff. David Cummings, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. We'll be back salute, tomorrow, man. guys. We'll be back hey, tomorrow. Subscribing. But yo, we out. Jordy man. McFly. We're um, out, guys. I'm about to watch the movie, eat some food, put some more shit on the site, my YouTube. Yeah. But, um, nah, Sean ain't no Reed. Cool. Go swan. Okay, guys, we out. We love you guys. Sean Thanks a swan. lot for tuning in. We're nothing without you. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.